My name is Sean Bunting. I'm 53 years old and I'm an electrician by trade. And in the past 10, 15 years, I've specialised in testing electrical installations and mainly for the government, both in this country and abroad. And in January last year, I left the country for Dubai for 10 weeks and spent 10 weeks there testing ambassadors, residents, British Embassy, consulates and proper properties that diplomats live in. Uh, from Dubai I went to India, travelled around seven different states in India doing the same. And from there went to Namibia to carry out some essential works to the ambassador's residence in Windhoek. And it was while I was in Namibia I noticed I'd got a couple of small bites on the back of my leg which just looked like insect bites, pimples, that were really, really painful. And I investigated this online and when they started getting bigger, realised that I'd got another ulcer, venous ulcer. So I, I tried these myself using my own compression socks and some dressing that I bought locally. From there I went to Bangkok for a month and it was then I decided to come home. I could have gone on somewhere else, but I came home to get the ulcer treated. Because I was back unexpectedly, I didn't really have anywhere to live. I was sleeping on my son's sofa and friends' sofas. I was sleeping in the car, which is not good. And also, sleeping like that was not helping my legs either because you have to have a bed to sleep in if you've got leg ulcers and preferably the legs have to be raised. I've known Sean for best part of seven years. Um, for people who have these ulcers and any kind of leg condition, it just takes away your mobility, your upright health. Um, it affects you mentally. He's, he won't admit the times when he's been in pain, but I've seen him. When you wake up in the morning or, you know, when he's trying to get up, of course it hurts. You know, if you saw the state of his skin, I don't think anybody could take the pain that he's been taking. And when you consider that he's on 40 tablets a day, that is a lot of tablets for a lot of pain, which people don't realise. And you have that day in, day out, for the best part of two years. I wouldn't be able to... I wouldn't be able to take it. I was struggling to work, and the medication I was taking at the time prevented me from driving. I then got admitted into hospital and I discussed my situation with some of the health professionals who would pass this on to the hospital. And I was, I was seen by um, a woman in the hospital who was linked to helping people who possibly got nowhere to go when they left hospital. And through the Providence Housing Association, they contacted Epping Council and, and they got me temporary accommodation where I am now. I'm very pleased for it. It's a, a life changer, absolutely. From, from having three weeks in a hospital bed, which is fantastic, and then moving to this, it was a, a good, good move because my legs continue to heal. The future is looking very good because the legs are healing. I'm hoping in the next two or three months to get the back sorted out, lose some weight, get the back sorted out in regards to walking and start looking for some more work abroad, hopefully. And that's, that's the way forward. One message I would like to put over to people is you must take these leg ulcers seriously. They've got to be looked after professionally. You need to go to a specialist centre. It's, it's no good just putting a plaster on an insufficient dressing. They need compression dressings, which is a specialist job. 
and if and the consequences of not looking after these properly are ultimately possible amputation and, and long-term immobility.